Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to define transfer function of a feedback system when you have PID controllers. Let's say these are the PID controllers. Remember that PID controllers are nothing but KP, KI, KD. KP means um, proportional gain, KI means integ integral gain, and the KD is differential gain. Okay, so let's say we have two examples, two scenarios like this and like this. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you in MATLAB how to write a code where you have to, where you can, you know, define transfer function and then plot that. So let's get into the MATLAB. First of all, you need to define a transfer function variable, which is like S in this case. And then you have to define a plant. Let's say we have a plant, which is Z, which is G and it is 1 by let's say um s plus 18 okay and after that you have to define the pid controller now remember that we had kp ki kd values as um 24 comma 67 comma 1 this is kp this is ki and this one is kd okay so this is how you have to define pid controllers and then we'll be defining the feedback which was given as 2 and then it's time to find the transfer function let's say transfer function equals to feed feedback And now you have to multiply the plant with the controller, which is the PID controller, comma, feedback. Okay. Plant into uh, PID controller, comma, feedback. This is the accurate way to type in the um, feedback function. And then let's say we're going to plot it. Just send this thing in the bracket. And there you go. And there's the transfer function as you can see, which is this one. Okay. This is the transfer function. And we have our step response as this one. Now let's move on to the next example where you have only one parameter, the integral gain, which is ki into the, which is this. And these parameters are unknown. So how, to, how do you write a code for these kind of scenarios? Since the kp was not given so we will assign it as 0 and then ki as 3 and this one will be 0 as well now the feedback was also not given so in this case we will be um, giving the feedback value as s okay this just put down s and then run and advance see this is our output which is the feedback transfer function and this is the step response for this situation so that's it 